Hello, thank you for joining me. This routine is promising to be a low impact exercise. No equipment involved, no jumping. So we're just gonna have fun while we walk out. Are you ready to walk with me? I know you're ready. So let's get right into it. Three, two, one. Today we'll discuss about how to prevent injuries with proper form during workouts. Have you experienced any knee injury during a weight training exercise? Proper form not only helps us avoid injuries, it also helps us exercise more effectively. Rushing through workout and ignoring our form could cause injuries, especially for those with existing back or knee issues, or make our workout less effective, thereby setting back progress. Let's find out how we can maintain proper form and avoid injuries during workout. Form is how we position and move our bodies during exercise. So, let's ask ourselves this question. Why care about form during exercise? Based on research, these are two main reasons why proper form is important. Number one, injury prevention. Exercising is basically putting our bodies under physical stress. Improper form means the body is incorrectly aligned. This may result in placing unnecessary stress on our joints and tendons, which will lead to injury and pain, and in turn, affecting our quality of life. You may have heard of people complaining about excruciating joint pains after a workout. Proper form helps to prevent this. Three, two, one. Number two, to target the right muscles. Working out with proper form helps us hit our fitness goals by making sure we are targeting the correct muscles and training them effectively. So, how do we exercise with proper form? These are a few tips on how to maintain proper form. Number one, consult professionals. Whether it's free weights, resistance training, or weight machines that you plan on using for a full body workout, Consult a certified personal trainer. He or she can help you check your technique or correct your form. Avoid observing and copying your friends. They might not be doing the right thing either. Number two, record yourself. Check your form by recording yourself working out and comparing your clips with online exercise videos by experienced professionals and reputable sources. You might spot where you're doing certain movements incorrectly. Number three, be in control. Whether you're lifting weights, doing squats, or stretching, keep your movement slow and controlled. Rest for five seconds and start again. Three, two, one. When standing, make sure your weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Number four, choose the right level of difficulty. If you're just starting to exercise after a long period of inactivity, Make sure you don't bite off more than you can chew. Master basic techniques by starting off with body-weighted exercises before progressing to more advanced workouts with external resistance tools like dumbbells and kettlebells. As always, warm up before exercising and stretch to cool down after. Stop if you feel any pain. Consult your doctor if you have any health challenges. Practice caution when exercising. Remember, safety first. Three, two, one. Then, there are five ways to avoid pain and injury when starting a new exercise regime. Getting in the habit of exercising is not easy. Not only is finding the time to exercise a major deterrent for people, the fear of aches, pains and injuries is also a reason why people put off starting a new exercise regime. But exercise doesn't necessarily have to lead to pain and injury. Here are some simple things you can do to avoid these when starting out. Number one, warm up. It's important to warm up before you exercise. Muscles that have been warmed up are able to exercise for longer and suffer less soreness and reduced injury risk. Exactly what constitutes an effective warm up varies from workout to workout. But in general, you should dedicate at least 5 to 10 minutes of your workout to warming up. 
your warm-up shouldn't be strenuous. Aim to use about 40 to 60% of your maximum effort. Your warm-up might also include a dose of dynamic stretching. But stretching alone is not an effective strategy. You may consider using self-massage tools such as foam rollers. They can help optimize your warm-up. As little as 2 minutes of foam rolling has been shown to reduce muscle soreness in days following exercise. Number 2. Don't overestimate what you can do. A common mistake when starting a new exercise regime is to do too much. This can lead to pain after workouts and may also increase your likelihood of injury. When you begin a new workout plan, it's important to start gradually and at your own pace. Since everyone is different, avoid following an exercise program that uses absolute distance or repetitions. Instead, focus on how you feel during a workout and listen to what your body is telling you. It takes weeks or even months to notice the benefit of exercise. So, don't expect your health and fitness improve overnight. It's also worth noting that progress isn't always linear. Some days you may find it difficult to exercise as long or as hard as you did the previous session, listen to your body and stop when you feel tired to avoid injury. Rest for 5 seconds. 3, 2, 1! Taking a day or two off to rest each week is vital for recovery. But you don't have to sit and do nothing for your recovery days to be effective. Active recovery is equally effective in helping your muscle recover and helping you avoid pain and injury. Active recovery might include lower effort exercises such as walking or yoga. While you should take at least one day off between strength training workouts. Another strategy to boost recovery is to work different muscle groups on different days. This will stop your muscles from using the same movement over and over, which can lead to overuse injuries. Rotating between strength training, swimming, running, cycling, or whatever takes your fancy will allow your body to recover and help you achieve your fitness goals. Number four, learn proper form. Developing correct form earlier on is important when starting a new exercise regime to avoid developing bad habits. In the beginning, go slow, try a range of different exercises and don't add too much weight. Three, two, one. Executing the movement properly will help you avoid injury. If you choose to exercise at the gym, ask a trainer for pointers if you're unsure about the form. If you prefer to work out alone, there are lots of resources available online to guide your training. You might also consider filming yourself so you can see how your form looks. Number five, invest in the right shoes. The right pair of shoes can make all the difference to your workout. You don't need an expensive shoes, just one that provides appropriate support which will help protect vulnerable areas of your feet from overuse injuries. Rest for 5 seconds. Three, two, one. If you're looking to start weightlifting, look for flat hard shoes to provide a bit more stability while you lift. Specialized weight training shoes are also an option. as their raised heel will allow you to achieve the proper ankle, knee and hip angles required for effective lifting. This will let you maintain the correct form and reduce risk of injury. Don't let the fear of pain put you off from starting a new exercise regime. The benefit of exercise outweighs the temporary feeling of muscle soreness. Rest for 5 seconds. Three, two, not to mention that as you make exercise a regular habit, you are less likely to feel sore after each workout. Consult your healthcare provider for any joint or muscle pain that doesn't go away after self-care. 
very important. Rest for five seconds. Three, two, one! We've mentioned some of the exercise safety tips, but let me buttress on this point. Be cognizant of personal safety. Use a spotter for bench presses or squats with a weight bar. If at all you're exercising alone, be sure to notify another person of your whereabouts, departure and arrival time. Choose a safe location. Avoid remote or unpopular areas. Avoid wearing earphones that block all sounds. Pay attention to your surroundings. Always trust your gut. Look for ways to make exercise fun. You're more likely to continue exercising if you look forward to doing it. Trust me. Complete with a one minute plank. No cheating. I've got my eyes on you. At the end of the day, it's important to love and value yourselves. Your regular exercise program is one of the best gifts of self love that we can give. Taking time away from ourselves, our busy lives, the hustle and bustle that goes on every day, to take part in a physical activity essential to a happy, healthy, and well-balanced life. Hey, I want to encourage you to love yourself enough to exercise. What could be holding you back? Hmm, lack of time, feeling tired, lack of motivation, not having friends to exercise with, feeling self-conscious about appearance. My friend, none of that exists. You are just overthinking it. And trust me, you can do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time.